All right, uh, we have a ball, we have a paddle. They're not colliding with each other, and they won't quite yet. We're going to do that in a later video. We need a map still, so let's create a map. Uh, we're going to create a map class in this tutorial, and you know it's just going to be the basic map. We'll add more to it later. We're going to call it map, and it, like the other classes, is going to need to remember some stuff. So it's going to have, we're going to build this around private array, 2D array of integers that are going to represent um, the bricks. So um, a 2D array is like a grid work, so that's what we're going to use to represent our bricks. And private int, we're going to have this map be flexible, so brick height and brick width. These are going to be calculated based on how many bricks there are, so that value that value can be changed. And we're also going to have a, pri oh, a public. We're going to have an offset, so there's some padding around, so you can actually sneak the ball up top and on the sides. So public final int. We're going to say the padding on the side horizontal pad equals. Uh, this is a figure that I just kind of experimented with and worked out in uh, vert. Pad is going to just be, I think, 50 works. Um, then in the constructor method, well, this is going to be right off the bat a fairly flexible uh, constructor. So it's going to take in a uh, number of row and columns. So anytime somebody wants to create a new map, they can tell the map, hey, could you please have this many rows and columns? And um, then we're going to have this function called, or method called public void init map, and you could just call it init. Uh, and we're going to have to send it the number of rows and the number of columns. And it's going to do a couple things. So remember, the map is going to be represented by a 2D array of um, integers. And so we are going to have to initialize that 2D array in init map. So we just say the map equals new int 2D int array and we're going to say row column so that it's the correct length and then we're going to say for int i equals zero i is less than uh, the map dot length I plus plus. We need to, that's the loop that's going to go through the rows, but now we need the loop to go through the columns. For int j equals zero. j is less than the map uh, at row zero dot length. j plus plus. And now at first we're just going to give these all the same values. So the map at i j is just going to equal one at first. Um, we're going to have the value zero be a brick that's uh, empty later on, but right now we're just going to display the entire map. So that's the initialize map function, which we need to call right when the constructor is called. So we call init map and pass it the values of row column that are sent to the constructor method. So somebody wants, says, hey, I want to create a map with eight rows and ten columns. Okay, and the map constructor says, all right, everybody, let's build, <laughs> build a new map with eight rows and ten columns. Okay, but because we want it to be flexible, we have to, the so brick width and brick height are going to be based on the number of rows and columns and the width of the thing and the height of the thing. So this is going to be just a little bit of a, uh, you're going to get the math as you look at it just for a few seconds. So the brick width is going to need to be bbmain.width. Uh, minus two times the horizontal pad because the horizontal pad is going to be on each side so there are two of them divided by the number of columns and brick height and so you should just sit with that math for just like a couple seconds and understand what it's doing so bb main dot height minus Two times vert pad divided by the number of rows. Um, 
whatever. I didn't just like magically come up with this. I just had to think about it for a couple minutes, and then I was like, oh yeah, right. That's how we do the padding. Um, and it really shouldn't, oh, not two times the vert pad, just a single, because only, right, there's only padding on the top of the map. There's no padding on the bottom. Well, whatever, that's how I decided to do it. Uh, either way it would work. Well, so the map also needs, uh, a draw function. It's not changing based on itself, like, it's not moving around. I mean, you could do that, but, so we don't need an update method, but we do need a draw method, public void draw, and the draw method needs to be able to accept our graphics robot for the game named G. So we're going to import this. And at this point, we just need to draw it all. So for, we need to loop over the entire array and draw it. Int row equals zero. Start at the top left. Row is less than the map dot length. Row plus plus. So we want to go through all the rows. And then we're going to go through all the columns equals zero column is less than the map at row zero or whatever row dot length column plus plus and then now we need to figure out how we're going to display these things so uh, every time we draw we should set the color of g g dot set color color initially it's just going to be dark gray just like everything um, and then we just need to figure out where in space to draw these things based on the row and column indexes, indices. And so we're just going to say uh, g dot fill rect at. And where do we need to fill it? What's the x coordinate? Well, the x coordinate is actually going to be the column times the brick width. plus the horizontal padding. This is going to be the row, the y coordinate is going to be the row times the brick height plus the vert pad. And this is going to be brick width, brick height, and I believe that that should actually be enough and we should be able to draw our map. Uh, so let me just add the map to the um, let me just add the map to the game panel and we'll draw it and see if it works. So let's say map the map equal, oh yeah, and we'll just initialize it later. Here, we're going to scroll down. Everybody's coming into class, so i got to go really fast. Let's see if I can do it fast. The map equals new map. And all we want to do is draw the map. Why is this angry at me? Oh, because we have to pass it rows and columns. Let's do 6 and 10. How about? Uh, and under draw, after everything, we're going to say the map dot draw and let's run it and see if it works. Come on, come on. Not at all. All right, I'm going to fix it next time. Bye.